Hello everybody and welcome back to Corpus Mambio Homework 3. We are heading up to Lua, but no down on Lua. Because we're building the biggest space station that I have ever built. It's gonna be the most complex space station I have ever built. It's gonna be the most nightmarish space station that I ever built. So, we're launching. We're going to Lua. We're gonna build a space station around Lua. And it's gonna be fun! No, it's fucking not! Because, god Jesus fucking damn it, this mission was a complete fucking nightmare to make. It was no fun. Like, literally, it, it's the entire thing, the entire space station. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be all constructed of four parts, five segments, and four rockets or something like that, uh, something like that, but well, one more important before we, before I forget everything is we're circularizing, but before we do that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so don't miss anything which is happening every Tuesday, so also some maybe li live stream, who's no one else, it's, it's summertime maybe, it's summer 2021, I can come up with the craziest shit ever and nobody's gonna give a shit. Because over here on the YouTube channel of Riskaper, we're doing everything. So yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, the mission. KSP 1.12. Good update. Bad physics. What the fuck is wrong? Get the fuck out. You. Fuck off. So, <laughs> bad physics. Why? Because docking ports in KSP 1.12 have then they want to become gay. They're straight. In 1.11.1, they're straight. When 1.12 they became gay and they started doing whatever the fuck that is, they started wiggling all over the fucking place. I fucking hate that. The, the entire fucking mission was so fucking frustrating that I just wanted to punch a fucking something. I just wanted to punch something. But yeah. Everything, the, the, the rockets were so fucking bad. They just wiggled like fucking crazy. The space station was so fucking bad because it wiggled like race. Like, oh, even here, I've been doing shit and it's still wiggling. Stop! Can you understand that I'm mad? At least, I guess, KSP 1.12.1 to some degree fixed that. So, yeah. I hope it did. I mean, I updated it. It didn't have that frequent of wobbliness, still did have it though, so yeah. So on to the second and fourth one of this mission, which are gonna be the same, identical, same, uh, gravity rings. And it was just cool to see them both in like the same rocket, but one side of the rocket is daytime and the other is nighttime and they're separate. It's a cool effect, I did something creative fucking finally, Jesus Christ! I finally do something creative! Isn't that cool? Isn't it cool? If you said it, it's not cool. Understandable. Because there are much more creative people than me. But I try my best, okay? Just hang out. Just hang on with me. Hang on. So yeah, we're launching both of these rockets at the same time, but... Obviously, the launch too, which was on, which is on the left, happened first because it was the first segment. That it was the second segment of the uh, space station. There we go. I can talk. I can remember. And uh, the right, the space station, the segment on the right is segment four, which is the fourth launch. But yeah. Also, this thing, this thing, this gravity ring was by far 
the hardest thing that I've launched ever, probably. Because it just wanted to roll so badly, it didn't just stay together at all. I added like a million struts and then it fixed itself. Also, by the way, footage on the left, launch 2 and then launch number 2, is KSP 1.12. Footage on the right, the launch number 4, is KSP 1.12.1. So yeah. Stuff is good. Stage separation on both of them? And we're going to Lua on both of them. Hopefully, sometime soon. But not yet, because, yeah, reasons. So yeah, this exact, uh, this thing, the gravity ring, was so bad, as I said, that I relaunched it a couple million times, and it felt like I was gonna just pass or something. Also, you may notice that footage on the left has far better frame rate than footage on the right. I don't know why, but it, I don't know if it was my PC overheating, but if that was the case, I should have known. But with, with the craft that had a lot of uh, parts, like not even that much, like old, like through to 300 parts, KSP was just having horrible uh, performance. But at the launch it was good, which is typically the part when you have the most amount of parts. I don't know what the fuck happened to that, but yeah, okay, we passed through that, we passed through that space. It was a complete fucking nightmare. It was a complete fucking nightmare. But yeah, here we come towards the docking with the space station. And what is gonna take me? A lot of fucking fuel that I don't put in the oh that I didn't put in the so I had to do a bit of cheeky peeky wiki cheaty work and work and put some more fuel because I wasted all of that fuel by making things harder for myself by going to a polar orbit around Lua. Now spoilers, here is the third segment on the right, which is basically a science space I shut up. I don't want to talk about it too much. Yeah. It wiggled so badly. The entire thing wiggled so badly. And also I put like four RC blocks on each side, on each segment uh, of the regravator rings. Which was nowhere near enough to be like, make things go together because holy shit it was painful. This, this entire mission took like, like all of the footage that I have recorded for these, the, all of these uh, missions is like long, like four hours. And it took me a couple of days, as I said. So yeah, this is the third segment, this is 1.12. Everything is wobbly wibbly, and we have no sound. Or, I mean, we do have sound, but it's completely not in sync. Since GeForce Experience likes to desync noises uh, after a <laughs> couple of game crashes. And yeah, I'm showing you these bloopers because after like a few times, uh, the, in the, the recording software just stopped recording and I have no actual proof that I launched this thing. So I have this thing. It can lift off itself. I definitely launched I didn't put it in orbit, so just so you know. I didn't do GA work. But I did but it did have a lot of explosions. So I realized that it didn't record by by now and I started recording it. And you can see that I actually did it, so I have like less fuel on the second stage, just the second stage. With uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6 uh, RS25 engines, or KS25 engines, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. I just see the KS Kerbal Space Engine down below me. I didn't see it while I was playing the game. Good things, good times, good things. And we're going towards Lua again. Like, oh, bruh, obviously, we're building a Lua space station. What are we gonna do? Imagine somebody comes to you and is like, 
Yeah, man, I'm going. I'm going home again. What do you mean again? Like, I always go home after I get out. Yeah, of course we're living there. That was not a good joke. Moving on. And ignoring that. Ignoring me. Ignoring the jokes that I made. So yeah. It's time to circularize. You see these weird arms around like the uh, thing? Those were there to keep everything straight because this thing wobbled a lot. Also, while I was coming uh, near it, I hit the space center. I don't know how it, anything didn't explode, but I hit it. And now I was like, okay, like, yeah, let's do it with RCS. And then I was like, I instantly regretted it because I just think that quite a fucking long time. But yeah, I ran out of RCS. Which has never happened to me. Because I usually put uh, too much RCS. And this thing also had RCS. And the tiny ones. I don't know why I put them there. Burps. I don't know why I put them there. I, but I did. So I need to redock them because they were angled. Because I hit them. But everything was getting close, but the other part was coming closer, so I needed to dock as fast as possible, and I did dock as fast as possible. This was done, by the way, at like around 15 frames per second, which is less than ideal for a game. Any game. So yeah. And we're going. I wanted to do the lazy method of docking, and I know there's gonna be some person in the comments being like, lazy loud method of docking? Yes, lazy loud method of docking, because nobody in, in the entire Kerbal Space community didn't realize that you can dock better with just pointing two things together and slapping them together. Yeah, don't you dare telling me that it's special for Matt Loud. Don't get me wrong, I love the dude, he makes cool videos, but... The fact that he is popular doesn't mean that these things are his. The words are his. Even he mentioned that in his video, so yeah. Whatever, we docked with the space sent uh, the space station and I had some wiggly 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 wobbly arms. I tried to dock them, but yeah, it didn't quite work. Yeah. It worked in the end, but they were still wobbling, so, which literally just makes the point of make, uh, making things lock useless. But yeah. So, I forgot to put some of the uh, solar panels to an action group, so I had to do them by hand. And in the fucking end, these solar panels started having so bad spasms that they just spasmed themselves apart. Just broke themselves apart, which was a complete nightmare. And I had to fix each and every one of them with an engineer. And I had to fix them, and they, some of them were just angled. And I had to fix them by just either rotating the entire solar panel or just getting it out and then strapping it back on. Yeah. This is the final launch of this mission, of this video even, and it's gonna be the last segment which is an ore tank and a fuel converter thing. Something like that. I don't know for sure. But yeah, it also it also has a lot a, a big uh, docking port, which is helpful. But there's also one more thing about this space station. Since it is made of docked parts, it tends to just summon the kraken. And pray that it destroys it. 
uh, the thing. So this was I, I don't think that it is possible to dock anything on this uh, space station without exploding it one way or another or just demolishing it apart and just uh, raining it on Lua. Everything is possible. So yeah. And here we are going towards our... Yeah. What the fuck is this? These things are rocket parts. These things have to be made of either steel or carbon and just be sturdy as fuck. They don't need or at all. They just don't need to be made by fucking jelly. Why is this thing wobbling so badly? Why am I so mad about it? I don't know. I almost messed up the entire time warp by just going at the end. So that was a fun, that was no fun. And it was especially no fun when I slammed the throttle and basically my payload just when it's this is the this is the lower stage and this is the payload. My payload, even though it's attached at this point, it just wanted to do that and go like in here, like inside the stage, inside the fuel tanks. I have no fucked up clue why I did that, but I did it. So you see that I'm complaining a, a lot about this mission. Which means that this mission was an absolute fucking trash. For the love of God, I don't want to do anything like this soon. I might be overwhelmed and do something like this again, but on a uh, low growth orbit, I might do it. Either or even a high road uh, orbit, I might do something bigger, something more advanced, but it should, it would be, it will be something uh, after I have like straight physics again. Because in 1.11, I wouldn't be afraid to do this. 1.12, I'm afraid to launch a fucking rocket. Because Jesus Christ is gonna come and then summon the Kraken and just everything goes kaboom baboom. Yeah, here we are coming closer to the space station that is waiting for us. Look at this. Now look at this. Hey, this thing also has radiators and also is the main uh, communication uh, part because it has the giant two antennae that we need to communicate for, with. So yeah. Again, um, it's, at the end of the day, I wouldn't say it's a too bad of a space station. Yes, it was a hassle to make, but I would say it's a too bad of a space station. Uh, the previous station that I built, I mean, I built it, but I launched it with a single, yeah, look, 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 look. What is wrong with the fucking solar panels? They're angled and they're looking in fucking nowhere. Yeah. I more like the space station that I first built. Second. The first one wasn't too much. The second one was good. This is the third one. Holy shit, I've been a lot of fucking space stations. But, so. Any of you that wants to see a Lua base on the bay, on Lua, please let me know because I would like to torture myself and do that. But yeah, trying to get a good camera angle for a good thumbnail shot and a good and good views. Yeah, there it is. Road in the background, and that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, punch love to that. Punch subscribe if you're new and as always, I hope to see you next week. Until then, have an awesome week!